Hello everyone, welcome again in Eggman YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to redo my exercise of CO2 storage simulation using COMG software. So actually I've done several videos. I have made several videos about this topic, but I think I'm going to just redo and restart everything because I need to do something with the model and I don't think it is quite comfortable for me to to just edit my previous videos or my previous files so instead i'm i just think that it will be nice if i redo everything and also record it there will be i think some minor changes so if you're interested you can follow me but if not you can just refer to my previous videos okay so let's go ahead so in this First exercise, I'm going to construct base model for CO2 storage in aquifer with only structural trapping. So we will disregard the solubility trapping, residual trapping, and mineral trapping. We will just do structural trapping. Okay, and we will do the simulation in CMG. Okay, currently we are looking at the builder Okay, we will use builder and later on in the simulation we will use gem all right so yeah you can follow me open builder and then let's just click on this button okay so for the simulator we will use gem and working unit si unit international standard and for the porosity single porosity Hopefully later on, we can also use the dual porosity and start date, for example, 2000. Okay, or maybe 2022 or maybe 2023. Okay, so far so good. And then click on OK. There will be message. Current reservoir simulator setting gem as I know. Okay, click on OK. All right, so the first thing we will go to input output control, IO control in the tree view. And then click on this one, title and case ID. I'm going to call, I want to make the title case one. And then this is the base case okay base case in this case is just structural trapping or maybe for this base structural okay it means it's just structural trapping okay click, click on okay and then note that in tree view all sections except input output control should have this X mark, red, red X marks, which are errors, okay? Or maybe like this, yellow. This means that there are essential data missing in the sections, but not for IO control. IO control is already green, so it's good. Okay, and then under the reservoir section, click on this one and then let's create grid and we will use Cartesian grid. and for the I direction, I'm going to use 100. And for the J direction, only one. So it will be two dimensional model. And for the K direction, 20. And for the block width, it's, let's type in like this. So it's 10 meters for the I direction. Whereas for the J direction, it's only one multiplied by 10. So again, 10 meters, the width for J direction. Okay, so it's 100, 120, 100 star 10, one star and 10. So click on okay. So it will be like this. Okay. And currently we are looking at the, okay, like this. And then let's click on this one to change to prop mode, okay, from create grid mode. Okay, so if you want to look at the 3D view, it's like this. So the grid is still, you know, still blank. 
still empty. And let's click on this specify property 